Good morning to all traders. Welcome to this Thursday's market exercise video. It is the 4th of February today and the dollar rally remains firm. This is of course because we have had news um, that Biden is going to push, uh, push for a partisan fiscal stimulus package, right? Uh, there is news that uh, hospitalizations in the US are being um, actually at the lowest that they have been in three months. And we've also had the ADP and other sort of ISM data, I think, if not mistaken, from the US showing improvement. Okay, now, despite of course, all, all these are leading to inflation expectations um, going forward, I think the Greenbacks recovery, it's mainly, um, it's mainly dedicated, let's just say, on profit taking of the longer term uh, shorts on dollar rather than anything else, in my opinion. Now, this rebound in dollar, uh, it's limiting the expectations of further easing, of course, right? Which makes a better case uh, also for, for a stronger one. And adding to this, of course, for the one, PBOC uh, announced yesterday, well, let's just say hinted yesterday that there might be the first bank to tighten policy. And we do know that's the case anyway, because we have seen that China being the first one to, to recover from the, um, from the pandemic. However, I do also believe there is another candidate in this battleground, and this is the uh, New Zealand RBNZ. Because of these employment numbers we got the other day, and plus the fact that there is no real cases there. Okay. Now, at the same time, since we talk about central banks, uh, the Bank of England is delivering their own statement today. Their own monetary policy changes, if there is any, of course. The tells will provide uh, more uh, clarity on that, of course. But markets expect no changes in interest rates. However, the focus is going to be on the outlook going forward. Okay, And whether, on, of course, depending on, on that uh, result, of course, um, the BOA will consider to start adopting in negative interest rates. Um, and then, of course, on how much more fiscal stimulus should NAC plans to unveil on March 3rd. Now, for now, though, the truth is that Shunak reads needs uh, cheap borrowing, okay? And also, he needs stable markets, which we cannot currently see, okay? I think it's because it's January, slowly, slowly things will probably settle down. Now, with all that said, I'm going to start with dollar against one. I'm going to go on euro pound and euro kiwi, okay? As you well know, I've been bearish for a while. Last time we talked about this potentially being a leading diagonal. This is wave two. And it looks like to me that wave two has ended. Okay. But what keeps me cautious is that we are expecting the lunar year. So in, uh, the, I think it's on 8th of February, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it might be a case where Juan is going to remain here for, for another, for a few more sessions before we break uh to lower lows now these lows okay first i'm looking first i'm looking at the 6.18 because this is the 100 fibonacci extension of wave three now the truth is that we could we could end at 0 6.18 uh, 6.3 because a leading diagonal is an extended wave one so wave three is not expected to be equal to wave one but at least it's expected to be 61.8 of it obviously then Equality rule wave five would have to be uh, uh, similar to wave three, right? Or identical. Now, uh, this is what I'm looking for this particular pair, okay? Now, for dollar again, uh, no, sorry, uh, euro against a pound. Uh, we, I think we haven't talked about it for a while, but you well know that I was, uh, I was bullish um, for a while. I was expecting a correction to end. The truth is that I was expecting the, correct, the correction to end well, you know, like not well above like 88, 50 or so. We dragged, the pair was dragged a little bit lower. Now I've got one, two, yeah, three, four, and five for uh, wave two here. And we did the 78.6 for nice extension of wave one. So from here, and with the volumes increasing, likely to, yeah, it's also looking like that. And very good signals on the RSC and, and, and MACD. I'm looking finally uh, for prices to start moving higher up for a reversal up in an impulse move in wave three, right? That's going to take us to at least the 0 0.94. We're looking now uh, medium to long term. Okay, now if we break lower, then there is risk that uh, we're going to have to well, perhaps turn this into an A, B, and a C. 
as a correction because you would become the chances of this to turn into a correction would be great if we actually move lower okay and last uh, a quick look on euro against qa which we haven't looked for probably months here's what i'm looking uh this one yeah so we're in the long term we are bearish right We've done wave two we're expecting primary three and we're expecting primary three at around 1.51 yes 1.51 now multi-structure move on the downside we've got waves one and two done we are in close to the third part of wave three wave one in minor degree a uh, one two we're expecting minute three four and then five i'm expecting this to go around 162 then get a four and get then a five for wave three around 156 then get intermediate three intermediate four intermediate five 154 anywhere between 154 as i said before and uh, 151 okay 152 so uh, you can understand that the potential here for this uh, in especially since we're on wave three is very big we do get for the short term signals on the RSI and MACD that this is going to move lower down and to me it looks like this is uh, a multi-structure move on the downside again we've got one two we're gonna get three four and five for completion of this uh sub minute wave on the downside okay so this will be all for the day uh boe is important today we have also european uh, retail says but i don't think it's going to move the markets much to be honest and also jobless claims in the in the us uh along with the job cut report so it's going to be a good day i think thursday as well tomorrow friday obviously i'm expecting more flows to come in tomorrow or move out from the markets uh, so it's going to be um, interesting uh, to uh, two, uh, two interesting sessions today and tomorrow. Thanks for watching and we'll speak again tomorrow.